So we're seeing Matt Murdock as a new lawyer here. I really want to see more of him being a lawyer. Um, I think that would be really cool to see him like actually in a courtroom. I don't know if he would do that yet because like, well, I mean, I guess they're trying to get clients. So I guess that could be the next question is like, when are they going to start getting clients? Are they going to start getting some clientele that maybe are not the best of people? And also now that they're having their new office set up, I feel like that's going to be an exciting part of the show that we haven't fully dove into yet. I know I'm only on the third episode, but we've seen been seeing him fight a lot, you know? I want to see him be a lawyer. <laughs> Anytime I see bowling, I think of that one movie um, with Woody Harrelson. I think King... Wait, is it Kingpin? Or no, that's the villain here. Or is it called that too? I don't know. I was just really looking forward to throwing a few balls. Get this moron out of my face. Hey, come on. Oh, goodness gracious! Where did you learn to do that? What the heck? Whoa, whoa, hey. Who are you? You got a bad attitude, friend. Oh, a time, what do you call this? I don't know what you call that, when they like, you know, show you something and then go back in time. It's not a time jump, it's like a time behind. Look at this, this is top of the line. I guarantee this baby will not jam, or my name ain't Turk Bear. <gasps> it jammed, Turk! Uh, uh, uh. This is how he negotiates. You got swindled. He said this is how he negotiates, how who negotiates. Ew. Ew. Oh my gosh, what the heck did he say that? Oh goodness. He was bone. There's like straight. <laughs> Why am I watching this by myself? It's okay, I can handle blood. But the bone was a lot. Oh. <laughs> Just quit. Literally quit. I'd quit. Matt Murdock's gonna fight you one day. Oh. Okay. I thought he was gonna try to like run away. I want a lawyer. Oh my gosh. Did I call? I called it before the episode. I was like, we're gonna get some people who are like gonna need a lawyer who probably aren't the best of people. I already know who your lawyer is gonna be, I feel. Driving in Friday night. Kings in the castle. Kings don't have bodies in the trunk. I went <laughs> to Macbeth. <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so awkward. <laughs> Not myself. <laughs> oh. You know the whole let's stay out all night thing? Yeah. <laughs> How about next time we skip the part with the eel? <laughs> Deal. What was she looking at? Jesus, what happened to your eye? Oh, are, are you okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just uh, wasn't paying attention last night. It's my fault. You need a dog? No. Was that a knock? Someone's at the door. You should review one of our cases before you make a decision. Peace of mind and whatnot. That's a fantastic idea. Matthew? You wouldn't even give us his name, Foggy. You wouldn't care if you could see the zeros on this check. <laughs> yeah, maybe you would if you couldn't. We're running out of time. Oh, if it's Meet too me. good to be true, it probably Where is. Where are you going? Matt! Well, I'm gonna get in some shady business. So he was like following by listening to the watch? Wow. Anybody 
who drives away in three matching black SUVs. You just know. You just know. So what exactly happened, Mr. Healy? All I wanted was to throw a few balls. The lady at the shoe counter will tell you the same. She also says that you crushed the deceased skull with a bowling ball. <laughs> he threw some balls, like he said. <laughs> but I do regret any injurious consequences my actions may have caused. You have quite the legal... He's just like, he's been through this before, probably. <laughs> no one else is on this yet. I'm the only one who sees it. It's not sexy. <laughs> We're a newspaper, Ellison. <laughs> Take a poll. What color do they like? You know, we got a blue lime, we got a yellow lime, we're running out of colors. Like M&M's? Yeah, see? You're right the hell out of it. Boring news. You at all afraid of what might happen if we lose this case, Mr. Healy? No. Are you? Matt, a word, please. Dang, Matt's intense. He's fighting, but with his words, not his fists. Together we'll confront the charges honestly, openly, and within the moral confines of the law. Does that sound good to you? No. <laughs> Not my first rodeo, remember? You'll need to testify. I'm just gonna have faith in our judicial system. And you're gonna do your jobs. Oh my gosh. You're the one on trial. As for the man who hired you? All you need to know is his check's gonna clear. The gun's under there, the gun's under there. Is somebody gonna find it? Hi. <laughs> Just like so casual. <gasps> My gosh. For the record, this is the first time you've ever said I was right. <laughs> so. You open, I'll sum up, and we should cash a check, have Karen see what she can find out about Confederated Globe. Right. Where the hell is yeah, she? Yeah, where is she? Was it with what she was looking at earlier? So the file you illegally removed from the premises of Union Allied wasn't the same one Mr. Yurik refers to in this. You see how this complicates things, yes? I feel like, I mean, you work with lawyers. You, you, you should have maybe brought one. If you'd like, you can take these to your own representatives, but I'm fairly certain they'll advise you to sign it. And as a show of good faith, my clients would like to offer you a lump sum of six months' salary. Mm. For what? For all your help in the matter. To make you shut up, <laughs> essentially. As long as I keep my mouth shut. It's a clean slate, Ms. Page. A chance to put it all behind you. Isn't that what you want? Don't sign it without reading it all. Read every single page. Give it to Matt. No promises. Now get the hell out of my office. I've got a measles outbreak to deal with because idiot parents don't want to vaccinate and my best nurse is out with who the hell knows what. Uh, is that a, a treat? Blends <laughs> from that place you like? You should have led with that. That'd be cheating. <laughs> what is a cheese blitz? Blitz? Blitz. Hey. She had a good day. Yeah? She was up half an hour. Asked about you. Is it like his mom? Or wife? Oh, probably wife. Members of the jury, this is an important case. And I have a few additional comments that I want you to consider. <gasps> If you should fail, you can use the skill of the courtroom. Who is it? Her? Why are you freaking out? Oh, he's just like, maybe she, Okay, so he's like, noticing who's all here, but she's nervous more so than just being like, up there. Watch her just have like, anxiety because relatable. We'll all be over soon, okay? Just keep it together to the verdict. Can you do that? Mm -mm. It's almost like they're doing you a favor. I mean, you don't want something like that floating around. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Goodness, scared me. Stay down. 
I Are they like down. bribing the jury? What do you have on her? Or blackmailing, maybe more so. It's a tape, okay? What's on it? The mistake she made when she was 19 and pretty. Something she don't want her kids to know about. You get rid of it. I can't. It's not a discussion. <laughs> Who do you work for? I don't know. I want a name. That isn't how this works. Look, I walk by a building. With the lights on in the window, I got a job. Oh. But how did you, like, get this job where you get this job? Somebody had to talk to you then, right? I'm somebody else's job. You tell her to get a self-excuse from the jury. Personal reasons, whatever it takes. After that, she never sees you again. You'll kill me. Then you better leave my city. No, <laughs> he said my city. Anybody else getting blackmailed? What the hell is he doing? He's reading the room. <laughs> Literally. A man is dead. And my client, John Healy, took his life. This is not in dispute. It is a matter of record. Of fact. And facts have no moral judgment. I feel like he's gonna like flip this, you know, in a crazy way. And that she only saw the struggle with Mr. Prohaska after it has started, based on these, and these alone, the prosecution has failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Ooh. in this courtroom, the judgment is yours, and yours alone. All right. Where is he? This needs attention. He's indisposed. With what? All right. Art? My name's Karen Payne. I know who you are. I'm sorry. I know how hard this must be for you. My husband was found dead in your apartment. Oh, that's the wife? They offered me money. A lot of money. If I sign an agreement to never talk about what happened, they offer you something like that? Well, if she signed it, then she can't say, right? <laughs> He said something didn't feel right at work with the numbers. And I told him that whatever it was, he had a responsibility. Oh. I figure I have a couple of years before I explain that part. I mean, but kids. you couldn't have known. They have to pay no. for what they've done. They won't listen. We'll make them listen. I already signed. Most people's employers aren't trying to, like, you know, order them killed, hopefully. I think there's more to the story. Oh. If you're interested. I really feel like she should have talked to like Matt and Foggy first. I don't know. Who else you got? Uh oh. she the replacement? They're hung. Madam Foreperson, it's my understanding from this note that you have been unable to reach a verdict. We have not, Your Honor. Oh, it was just because she was ner- uh... <gasps> Oh. <gasps> I mean, I know he does, he, he, I know he is daredevil, but every time he like jumps out of the shadows, it still scares me. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, he has a bucket and a tube. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he was, you know, a decent fighter, from what I understood. I think I just kicked the camera, sorry. But. Oh, okay, wait, never mind. Oh my gosh! The man that hired your lawyers. Who does he work for? You think I'm afraid of you? Oh my god! Who does he work for? The 
here. I want a name. Are we finally gonna get the name? Fisk. Wilson Fisk. Kingpin. That's ki I know. I know that's Kingpin. Okay. I didn't know if he was in this season, but or in like a later season. But that's okay. So is he like gonna be the bad guy of this season? He'll find me. And make an example. And they'll well, find everyone better I've ever cared about. Pack your bags and leave the country. I don't know. You should have just killed me. You coward. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh my God! Oh, what the heck? I was about to be like, you're calling him the coward? That, that was a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dang. So, fist. They're so terrified of him just for saying his name. Wow. The art painting is. It, are we gonna see him? <gasps> That's him. That's him. I was like wondering when he was gonna finally get introduced. It's not about the artist's name or the skill required. Not even about the art itself. So, what is it about? All that matters is... How does it make you feel? They're like, how does it make you feel? Two million dollars! That was aggressive, sorry. It makes me feel alone. Hmm? So we finally got the Kingpin reveal. I know we didn't get his name being Kingpin yet, but Wilson Fri Fisk? Wilson Fisk. Frisk? Fisk, I think. I know that he is Kingpin, and I guess that kind of makes sense with the whole bowling tie-in from the beginning of the episode. I also got my wish of seeing them be more of lawyers and actually be in the courtroom, which they were this episode. Of course, they were representing uh, someone who was not so great, obviously, who kind of worked down the ranks for Kingpin. It's interesting how his operation works. I was kind of confused at the beginning because I kind of forgot who the, the guy was in the suit. I forgot that, like, what he looked like from the last few episodes because it's only, like, the third episode I'm saying. Um, anyway, but now, like, that I think about it, it is kind of interesting like he has keeps such a tight knit like he keeps everything so quiet about himself like almost you know even like the, the light in the window like the way he has his people I guess communicate with each other and then they're so afraid to even just say his name because like you don't do that because he'll kill you and and um, find your family and the people you love and like do the same so that you know nobody can say who he really is it's just very interesting to see like his how he runs his his organization and how feared he is that makes me excited to see how he really is i know i saw him in hawkeye but i'm i will admit i he didn't i mean he seems like menacing in hawkeye but from what anthony has said and from what i saw a lot of other comments people have said that that hawkeye didn't necessarily do him justice like how he was in daredevil um and i guess i can kind of see that because i was like oh okay like is this you know was the big famous bad guy from Daredevil. Um, I felt like it wasn't like as crazy as something I was expecting to see from him. But with that being said, I am excited to see how he is in the series to see like how crazy and ruthless he really can get um, and what makes him such a great villain like everybody says he is. And that also makes me excited to see Matt Murdock. Now he's gonna go down this rabbit hole of finding out who he is because ultimately everything is connecting back together. The plot is very interesting how intricate it is. Like different pieces, like the thing going on with Karen and now this guy and you know, it's kind of like all culminating to this one person um, and there's just so much going on and it's all tying back probably to Kingpin. I don't even want to know how <laughs> or what. Oh, oh, it's a rib. Gross. Ah! Oh, my 
Oh, gross. <laughs> this is so random, but I really like hearing people speak Russian. I just really like listening to the language. Oh my gosh. Of course it was Maddie. <laughs> Hiding out here, using up all my sick days. And just a while longer, just till I know the Russians aren't looking for you. I'm not the one looks like they've been through the grinder. You really need to get some kind of problem <gasps> or something. New suit? You worried about me? What if I were? I would tell you I'm a big boy. Are they having chemistry? Is this a little bit of chemistry? Right. That's why you keep ending up here. <gasps> I didn't. The burner's for me. Oh! No, figures in. Next time I need to come. He's getting digits. I can take care of myself, Mike, you know? It's not just about you. It's a little more complicated than that. You ever heard the name Wilson Fisk? No. You don't want to know. Or so I assume. <laughs> so what, you're just going to go out there hoping to find somebody who knows this Fisk guy? Apply well, <laughs> enough pressure, someone will break. Sooner or later. As he just, like, flings himself off the edge. <laughs> You were light again this week. There was a complication. One you assured us you were dressing. Do you know what he was asking? Not my concern. It should be. He was asking about your employer. Hmm. Madam Gao and Mr. Noble have expressed their disappointment about how the Russians can't seem to handle one man running around in a mask. I mean, if he had an iron suit. <laughs> like Iron Man and Thor. We value the services you provide, but clearly, you need help providing them. We'll all profit nicely under the new structure. Well, nicely. Tell Mr. Uh -huh. Fisk say his name. He's like Voldemort. This is an offer, not an order. The choice of how we proceed is yours. Talk it over with your brother. We'll be in touch. I'm kind of scared of Kingpin, honestly. From what I, the small amount I know of him and how other people act about him, I wouldn't just be being like, oh, he can come in here himself. I'd be afraid of him. I feel like he's gonna kill them. Did you look at it? Yeah, I looked at it. And? Is there a story? That guard? Tried to do the same thing to me. Why, why don't you ask him? Farnham? He's dead. He ate the barrel of his gun in his basement. And your old boss, McClintock? They're cleaning up shop. Seen a pattern here, Miss Page? Then. Probably because they're afraid? But you cannot just shift cranes and trailers and office equipment like you can numbers on a page. There has to be a trail if everything is being liquidated. Thanks for the coffee. I thought he was gonna like run with the story. I guess not so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know why this is giving me so much anxiety. <laughs> he's gonna kill them. I feel like he's gonna kill him or have them killed. I don't know. I feel like they're messing with the wrong one. What is it gonna do to him exactly? Oh, like wake him up? <laughs> oh, gosh, okay. Suma, это мы, Анатолий и Владимир. Дыши. Скажи мне, кто это сделал тебе? 
Что-нибудь. Любая мелочь. Жить на Is it gonna get back to Claire? <gasps> oh my gosh, run, 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 run. Don't be here, don't be here. You stay how are you enjoying rabbit in a snowstorm? It's the last thing I see every night. That's either very romantic or very sad. I, I can't tell if he's trying to like ask her out or if like personally she need he needs something from her. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. I... Yes, I was actually wondering if you cared. To he is asking her day. out. I'm the only one working here tonight. I don't know why I'm like, this is like weird to see him like this. Like, I can't tell if he's, this is like for real or like, cause he always, he seems so like calm, cool and collected, like in the car and like. You're not gonna offer to buy every painting in here so I can close up early. I actually tried that once. Watch him do it now. He probably could. A woman can be bought. Oh, he didn't respect that. Vanessa. Is he gonna give a fake Oh! Wilson. He gave his first name. He must really like her then, right? Or is there more to it? Call Matt, call Matt. Gave the phone. You're gonna use the phone. Probably. Oh, it's an old lady. Nah, but they're gonna walk by like next. Oh my gosh, okay. We're doing good here, Fawn. Are we? Yeah, we're making a difference. Oh, it's Claire probably, right? Foggy, I'll see you tomorrow. It's a girl, isn't it? <laughs> you got a new phone just for your girls. My life sucks. Get home safe. Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh! Claire, can you hear me? Claire! So funny how he just like, the, like he uses the stick like, you know, for an act and he just like runs off without it. <laughs> oh. Took her somewhere, probably. Trying to get to you. The Russians. 55 going once, going twice, sold for 55,000. Next up, lot 87. Liquidation of Union. Oh. Estimated value 540,000. We'll start the bidding at 70,000. Do I hear 70,000? 70,000 right here and now 75. 75,000. Hmm, interesting. To your left, man in the navy blue pinstripe suit. Who are they? Don't know. Mm. But they aren't bidding either. Can't be messy, Karen. At least Yurik is here. I don't have any money. Figure it out. Meet me in the diner when you're done. How did you know I was here? Probably because he's good at what he does. 225 going once, going twice. Sold for two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Probably you can get something that's like like fifty dollars. <laughs> Seems like a very large auction. I'm like, what's a smaller lot? That's good. Cool. Oh my gosh, poor Claire. Let's be into a taxi, but not por atrás, por adelante, como si fueran de ellos. Velvet, whatever. <laughs> right? Isn't it like Velvet Taxi? I was gonna say Velvet Taco, but there's like a Velvet Taco restaurant I was thinking about. <laughs> this is so weird 
to say I'm like whining and dining someone. I don't know why, like, this is just not what I expected to see from Kingpin. Like, are you really just trying to date? Or like, you... Like, is... I hope you like What's it. up? Does she have information? Like, huh. Maybe she just needs love. When I was 12 years old, my mother, she sent me to stay with relatives. At a farm, middle of nowhere. Those were good years. So what happened to you to make you become who you are now? I would do anything to make it a better place. For people like you. To a better place. What's your idea of a better place? Because you seem scary. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> a better place! <laughs> Dang, they like, oh, beat the crap out of her. I told you, I don't know who he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tell me his name. He never told me. Sergey, let me pursue I mean, she can't tell you if she's dead. I will begin breaking you a piece at a time. <gasps> Is he here? He doesn't need the lights. Y'all do. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, stay down, Claire. Yeah. It's like it feels like a horror movie almost. <laughs> He's like lurking in the shadows and like pulling them by their feet and stuff. Walking out of here. You're probably not. No. I'm not playing with you, man. He's not either. But you build off. God damn it! Oh my gosh! It hurts, doesn't it? Being in pain, being afraid. <gasps> oh, I thought that he broke it up. Hey, well there you go, Claire. Oh, I kind of shipped them. It's okay. <laughs> I ship him and her more than him and Karen. They have chemistry, I think. How did you know I was going to be there? Wasn't looking for you. Was he researching it too? I thought you weren't interested. I said, you should move on. No! Oh. say anything about me. Interesting. That works for me. Good. <laughs> First. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I, I sign that I can't ever talk publicly about this. Yeah. But he can. But I'm not signing. I just realized it does not say velvet talk ta talk taxi. It says like valet <laughs> velvet. It will be Piotr. Fiska be Vilsa. On a nugin brat. Ya ni paklanyo spirit nim! Oh my gosh. Oh, they're having dissension between us. But he's gonna mess it up and get them killed. I don't know why, I just think that. I just feel like he's gonna do something against Fisk. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Who are you, Wilson? Tonight, I'm just a man. 
Hmm. Enjoying the company of a captivating woman. So I guess he really did want to like date around. Sir, I need to speak with you. Were those all his bodyguards? We need to go now. I'm sorry. I want to tell you, my brother and I. Oh my gosh! Why are you doing that in front of her? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I feel like that, like them coming in while he was on his date. Tell me that you've got a plan. An end game. Anything? I'm, I'm just trying to make my city a better place, that's all. You sound like Wilson Fisk. <laughs> and I am not alone. But you can do something about it. For all of us, Mike. Matthew. <gasps> he said his first name, too. There's a lot of parallels right now in this episode between him and Wilson. Bodyguards in the back. Well, there's two, but there was like a ton more earlier. I enjoyed our time together very much, Vanessa. If you don't feel the same, just tell me. And I promise you won't see me again. Don't know how I feel. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, how? I'm like fascinated by Kingpin, honestly. The man in black came before our men had finished. You were right to reach out to us, Aldo. Wrong time? The call would have been more appropriate. You ruined his date and you made him pissed off. I wanted to speak with him in person. Try to put the past behind us. He's gonna kill him. Why are we stopping? Oh, he's killing him. Sir? Yes, passenger side. Was that him? Mm. <gasps> oh, something's gonna happen. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is... I knew it. I knew it was gonna be so bad. Oh my gosh. That's for ruining my date. Did I like not do anything to him? Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm used to this. Dang, that's crazy. So this is what I was expecting. Like, I was waiting for him to like, you know. Freak out and hit someone. Who's the host? Mama <gasps> Oh, I thought he was gonna close the door on him. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's gonna do it! Oh! Dang! <laughs> He has anger issues. All that for the date. Dang! I thought the other one was gonna die and it was him! Oh my gosh. What the heck? That was crazy! Like, I knew he was gonna be brutal, but like... Oh my gosh! Uh... Was that like, what is that under that? What about this? Take what's left of him and send it to his brother. Oh my gosh. It'll start a war. I'm counting on it. Wow. I didn't. That was crazy. That was a really, really good episode. Okay, 
another really great episode. Honestly, I am enjoying this show so much. I really, really like it. I said it during the episode, but at first I couldn't tell Kingpins, I don't know if I should call him Kingpin or Wilson Fisk, whatever. I couldn't tell his motivations with uh, Vanessa. I didn't know if he was like wanted something from her or like if he was trying to get information out of her, like if there was something he needed from her because I don't know, he just doesn't seem like the dating type or, or whatever, but I guess he really was, you know, he really did like her and was trying to just go on a date with her and then, you know, when the brother came in, oh um, my gosh. It's like, it's funny because I thought the other brother, like who was being kind of like um, stubborn about it all, was going to be the one that was going to get them killed, but it was him who was actually trying to work with him, but like you barged in during his day. I feel like he should have known not to like barge in on his personal time or anything like that. Like I feel like Wilson Fisk is the kind of guy that you don't just like barge into unannounced, but I guess maybe they didn't realize that yet and obviously it got him killed for it. I wonder if he's going to try to pursue Vanessa anymore. I don't know, that storyline really intrigues me. Like, I'm so interested in Kingpin and I want to know so much more about him. Like, he's just a really, really interesting villain. Um, and just the whole dating aspect too just makes him more interesting because like, I totally didn't expect that. And then just to see him lose his cool, wow. Super, super good. So excited to learn more about him. You know, even after seeing him in Hawkeye, I still feel like I don't really know anything about him. I, you know, obviously I saw him fight in Hawkeye. Um, so I know he does, I don't know if he has powers fully or not, but like, I know that he's like a, like, str I think he's stronger than most, like the average person. Like, I think he's like, almost like superhumanly strong. I don't actually know. I might be completely wrong, but I assuming he's like, you know, has like a lot of strength to him and like that's his thing that he has going on. I mean, obviously he knows how to fight, so. We also have Karen and Yurik working together kind of like separately. And then we also have Matt and Claire. I can't tell if there's like chemistry going on there or, um, you know, maybe they're just becoming extra good for, I feel like there's some chemistry going on there between them both though. Um, but you know, I, I thought before that he was gonna end up going to her more often for to get like patched up and stuff and clearly he is. Um, unfortunately, he got her into some trouble, but he saved her, and yeah, I mean, he's kind of stressed out right now because he's, like, worried about all the people he puts in harm's way versus the people he helps, but, I mean, at the end of the day, he has helped a lot of people that otherwise probably would have died or been in a really bad position without his help because it seems like a lot of the things dealing with Kingpin and, like, the crime in the city, people just like to sweep under the rug, kind of like Yurik was originally saying to Karen, like, you know, don't don't mess with it just like let it be or you know a lot of other people have been saying that to her I feel like that's the mentality most people have and he's not like that He's one to stand up for people and actually get involved. All right Well, thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video